This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7. .7. Uh, we saw it launch at IFA recently. It's going to be coming to the UK around December. And we've just had it in the office for a bit of an in-depth look at some of its key features. Now, it has a 7.7-inch .7 screen with a 1280 by 800 resolution, giving it the greatest pixel density of any tablet that's currently out there, with a pixel density per inch of around 197. So the colors are that much brighter, and there's also a greater contrast, so blacks really do appear black. So if we take a quick tour of the hardware, well, we've got a front-facing 2-megapixel camera here for video calls, and we've also got a speaker here, so this device could be used as a regular mobile phone if you are so inclined. On the top, there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone socket. There's a three megapixel camera with flash on the rear. Then you've got your power button, your volume rocker, your 30 pin proprietary port between the two speakers. On the base, there's a SIM card slot and a micro SD expansion card slot, but most Interestingly, just here is an infrared booster which allows you to use this device to control a number of home appliances such as your TV or your Blu-ray player. Now this is the first Samsung Galaxy Tab to run the 3.2 version of the Android operating system and that brings with it a few benefits. One of them being that all apps are scaled to fit the screen. Uh, also, the uh, operating system is optimized for a, a, a device of around 7 inches and finally, there's the uh, expansion of memory with the micro SD card. Samsung has overlaid that operating system with its own interface called TouchWiz. And the interface on the Galaxy Tab 7.7 .7 has been in improved in a number of ways. So now we have these mini apps here. Previously, there were six. Now there are as many as 10. And what's more, you're able to edit them so you can just remove them or add them as you see fit and change the order. And those can be accessed wherever you are, whatever you're doing with the device, they're always just there. You can also run more than one at a time now. So let's launch up that one and the world clock and you can move them around your screen like so. You've also got a lot more control over your application management as well. So you can create a folder, for example. So if we hold down our finger here, we've got the folders tab. And can we, we can create a new folder and it's placed it on that page. And there it is there and we can put our applications into that. Uh, we can also now sort through our applications by the most frequently used so quick access to those favorite applications of yours. And Samsung has improved the video editing features of this. So you've got this video maker application. And if you launch it, you can see that it makes use of the screen really well. You've got your timeline across the bottom. You can drag in videos, images, audio, and uh, photos. And you can also add transitions or effects as you see fit, so very nice to use. And there's a uh, improved clipboard feature. So if we go into our memos section, uh, and we can access the clipboard here. Now it's got a powerful clipboard that's able to save up to 20 images, but as you continue to save them, older ones will drop off, so you can edit and lock them or remove them, so locking them will make sure that you don't lose those ones. And there are a number of accessories available for the 7.7, .7, including the keyboard dock, uh, there are connectors for USB and SD memory cards, and also an HDMI connector. There's also a desktop and a windscreen mount for when using like a sat-nav. So that's the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7. .7. It should be launching in the UK in time for Christmas, and when it launches, we'll be buying it and sending it to our lab so we can test it to see how it compares to other tablets on the market. But in the meantime, if you want more details on this product and other tablets that are out there, then go to our website at witch.co.uk forward slash techdaily.